Have you ever wondered how to grow snails inside a sealed bottle? Or what about having a mini pond on your house? Check this out. We're gonna try to grow some snails in a bottle. We are going to collect it from the pond. This is not safe for kids to do. The pond could fall and it could get hurt. It's full of germs, so children should not try this. This is only for adults, for safety reasons. Please make sure that your child does not do this. As you can see, we're going to try to collect some snail from here to put inside a bottle. That's an experiment. I'm going to use a cover now to collect the snail from the palm. Um, I'm not going to try to touch the water because I know it's full of different animals which could harm my skin. And they're full of germs. As you can see, all those things have snails, so I'm going to collect them to try my experiment to grow snails in a bottle. I collected um, from the pond. Uh, it has a lot of bacteria because it's in a pond. Um, let's see how it goes when I put it in a bottle to see and if it grows. Experiment. This type of snails collected from the pond to see if they actually survive inside in a bottle seal had to be completely sealed. Okay, once we have the the bag with the animals from the pond, so we took this on 11:30th. As you can see, there's some animals in there, the snails. So we're gonna try to see how, put it in a bucket to grow it, to see how the snail grows. I had to put a double bag since, you know, it's a water pond. You don't want to touch the water because it definitely have all the different animals in there. And you can really see it when you put the light, the very microscope, they're really tiny. Sometimes I get germophobia, so I'm trying not to touch it. So that's why I'm putting a double bag so I don't have to touch it. So now, first thing I need is a bucket. You don't want to waste money, that's okay. I have this big yard from one of the Cheetos. I took it, I took the label out, so it's nice and big and clear, so I can put the snails inside and whatever other creatures is inside the water. So I'm gonna use this. Then I'm gonna add regular water. Okay, when it comes to this water, I let this sit the water for two days in the bottle. It's okay, the, this bottle is gonna be sealed. This bottle is gonna be sealed. I'm gonna seal it with crazy glue, or glue and then tape so no one can open it, especially children, because I don't want them to touch the water, so it could be more safe. We're going to pour the water inside here and see how it come out. First things first, let's open it. I wash this and then I let it sit for a couple of days. Now I'm gonna pour the water. All the water inside, this has to be fully open, full. Cause you wanna put some plants inside. I know you can hear the water. You can put some plants inside. So let's just do it halfway. That's okay, the whole one gallon of water sounds great. Okay, so we have the water. It's nice and clear. I do like this, you can see better. So I'm gonna grab the bag with the snails and I'm gonna pour it inside. So once we have the water, add the bag of snails, I'm gonna put the same date on this bottle so I know exactly when I make the experiment of the snails in the water. Like, see, some of the water came out. So I don't wanna touch the water because Use the same water. Do not change the water from the pond. It's recommended that you keep the same water. That's the whole purpose of it, to have the same water of the pond. I'm gonna keep pouring because it got triple layers of bag because I am avoiding touching this water. So I gotta make sure once I take this out, I wash my hand really good with a lot of soap. The water's gonna be black. 
as you can see the other animals in there oh boy it's gonna be interesting okay i'm gonna pour let me try to take this one out yeah i don't want to touch it look there's a snail right there there's a snail right there so tiny look this tiny snail Ooh, look at it wonder what other type of animals in there very interesting all right let's keep doing this have your own little pond in your house safe oh the water is dark why is dark who knows why it has too many things in it oh i have a big snail i didn't know that now i do let me try to take everything out what has snail? Oh. all right it went in yes it's gonna be sitting let's see what other animals see it's stuck to the bag but i don't know um well i'm doing this everyone use gloves for this definitely use gloves i'm doing it backwards i'm gonna shake it shake it i should use glove first but my hands are not wet just a tiny very little good thing i used the simpler bag all right everything is out so that's how it goes it's done our little mini pond we can add more different plants to it to see how they are so i'm gonna add this type of plants to the water uh, they are water plants those are you could go in the house anywhere basically so to give them oxygen from the roots that's what i'm doing this the more roots it has the better it is because i'm sealing this bottle so it won't be open so the more root it has the more oxygen it gets so i'm sealing this bottle completely that no air gonna come in so i don't have to worry so much about the other animals these are some roots and some plants some leaves are growing so that will work out perfectly so our final thing is, once you have the bottle, you can seal it with crazy glue, gun glue, or tape that this won't be open for no child to touch it or, you know, yourself. You want to keep this at home and mini pond. So you don't have to worry about spilling anything like that. Yeah, we're just going to wait to sit. As you can see, it's sitting down. Mm look you can see little things moving let me try to get a closer look so you can see better there's a mini pond on me it's just now it's very pretty look oh i think it's Look how the snow is moving. Look at the mouth. Oh, there's another one there going. Look, there's some snails. They really, I think they like the new environment. It's gonna take them some time to get used to it. Uh, but let's see how they go. Wow, look how they're moving. They definitely got space because it's pretty big. So it's not bad. It's closed, it's sealed. The small here worked pretty good because these, the children, they could see how they change. But the big snail, little one, you can see the difference. How they're moving. Um, I don't have to worry about opening because it's going to be sealed. So I hope you like how to have your own mini pond. So this mini pond at home with snails. Nice and close. Very nice. Um, children love to watch this because they're very curious. Any comments, just leave them on the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 
to see more amazing tips of what to the home and how can I help you make your life better.